If you've considered using an alternative lender as a source of funding for your small business, but you haven't heard of Bluevine yet, this review is for you. I'm doing this Bluevine review so that you can understand why I, as a small business owner, would consider turning to Bluevine as a source of funding for my small business. Listen closely and I'll go through several things I think you might find interesting. Before we get going, I want you to understand I'm not a licensed credit advisor. This review is my opinion, my opinion only. It is not sponsored by Bluevine. It is sponsored by FinImpact.com. FinImpact is a must-read website for people who have a small business and they're looking for information about alternative lenders and other tools that a small business might use. FinImpact is a great information resource for small businesses looking for funding and other kinds of tools. It's a must-read website. You should check it out. In this Bluevine review, I'm going to talk about what kinds of loans Bluevine offers, what are their strengths, weaknesses, what are some of the things that people know them for, and what are some of the things that you can expect when applying for a loan and the kind of rates that you'll see offered to you. We'll also have a look at how customers have responded about their experience in working with Bluevine. You'll want to hear this, so stick with me. Let's start by talking about what is Bluevine. It's important to understand that Bluevine is not a bank. Well, at least that's what they say on their website. Bluevine considers itself a financial technology company. It's interesting because they do offer checking accounts and provide the service of holding checking accounts for people, which is very much like a bank. And they do have FDIC insured deposits in those checking accounts. They are an alternative lender that offers checking accounts, a financial technology company. Well, the reason that's important is that you understand they don't work like a bank. They do everything online. But please note, this review is not about the checking account services they offer. We're strictly looking at the loans they provide and how they work as an alternative lender. A strong point for Bluevine is that they will offer loans to people that have even not so great credit scores. They're very open to working with a lot of people from a wide variety of business circumstances. But like any alternative lender, they're going to charge lending rates that are higher than those you would get from a bank. These high rates might be worth it if you have a business opportunity and you don't want to get bogged down in the slower pace of a traditional bank. You don't want all the hassle and paperwork that often comes with that. Now, if your business is operating well and you have good cash flow, Bluevine can offer very competitive rates. The way Bluevine does their lending offers you can't tell up front what the interest rate they're going to offer will be. You can tell that it will probably be in a neighborhood of somewhere between 7 and 25% annual interest. That's a very wide variation. Of course, it has a lot to do with the health of your business, your credit score, how much revenue you're bringing in compared to how big of a loan you're asking for. That wide window of variation is there because... The loans are highly customized for each business and for each person. Bluevine takes the approach of making the information easy to get once you are approved and to try to streamline the application process so that they can get you an answer in hours or maybe even just a couple of days at the longest. Over the years, Bluevine has reduced the different kinds of loans it offers. In fact, it only offers one type of loan now, and that is a short-term business line of credit. This loan is really flexible because it can be used as a revolving credit account. However, it is short-term, so you have to pay it back rather rapidly, the longest period of time being one year. The minimum payback period is 48 hours. So even if you take the loan with the intent to pay it back instantly, you're going to have to pay two days worth of interest. That's just how they work. And although the maximum payback is 12 months, they also have a six-month option that you can pay back on. Now, these options of paying it back right away or six months or 12 months mean that the size of your payment compared to your loan amount is non-trivial. It's a big chunk. You're going to pay back anywhere from 10 to 20% of the loan every time you make that payment. So it's important to think that through. 
Because, say for example, you took out a loan of $20,000, you'll need to be able to generate enough income and extra to be able to pay back $2,000 to that loan every month. Well, if you're making lots more than that, no problem. But if you're going to struggle to make that much, this might not be the right loan for you. You also don't want to be late on any payment. Bluevine charges a 5% late fee, plus any interest charged for the amount of time that you're late. Let's have a look at what it would take to apply for a Bluevine loan. The application process is very streamlined. You'll use the application to specify the amount of money required, basic identification info, some bank account statements, tax returns, and any other information that goes along with that. You'll also provide sufficient bank account information so that Bluefind can connect to your bank account. That allows them to both distribute funding and take money back electronically as payments on a schedule that they specify. It's a standard practice among alternative lenders, and it reduces their risk of defaults. The pre-qualification application does a soft credit pull. Now, you might not know the difference between a soft or a hard credit pull, so let me give you a quick explanation. A soft credit pull, as explained by TheBalance.com, does not affect your credit score. It's actually a mechanism that banks use for pre-qualification. They look over information collected by a third party other than the major rating agencies and they get an idea of whether or not you're qualified to go ahead and take this loan. Legally, they don't even have to ask permission to do that because in theory, it's not going to affect your credit score. A hard credit poll is actually going to one of the major reporting agencies. And of course, that will affect your credit score. But it's important to understand that in the pre-qualification, the lender only does a soft credit pull. Now, once you take the loan, that is the equivalent of a hard credit pull as well. Depending on how much of a loan you take and the health of your business, the impact to your credit score will vary. But if you complete the loan and then pay it all the way back, that can actually help improve your credit score a few months later. But just be aware that the process of applying and then taking the loan will have an impact on your credit. Once you've applied for the loan, you'll hear back very quickly. In fact, if the loan is rejected, you'll probably get that notice inside of 10 minutes or less. If it goes longer than 10 minutes and you haven't heard, then your chances of being approved are greater, but it's still no guarantee. Most approvals should get back to you within 24 hours. If after 48 hours you haven't heard anything, something might have gone wrong and you'll want to get back with Bluevine and check in with them to see what the holdup is on your application. According to the reviews left online, most people have a very streamlined experience with Bluevine. The application process goes quick, they get their money rapidly, and they're able to pay it back. Let's look closer at what previous customers of Bluevine have had to say. If we check out the information on Trustpilot, we see that Bluevine has over 7,000 reviews. 81% of their customers rate their experience with five stars. That's the highest rating. It's interesting to note, though, that 11% of the reviews for Blue Vines are only one-star reviews, the lowest rating. As I look closer at the review content of these customer responses, I notice that on the five-star reviews, people mentioned good customer service frequently. They often called out the Blue Vine reps by name when they did a good job. Now, about a year ago, I noticed that a lot of the negative reviews for Blue Vine had to do with the checking account, that particular side of their business. It was post-COVID time period, and a lot of people had some confusion over the way the checking account was being implemented. But this time around, I'm noticing that the complaints are more often about the alternative lender and the lending practices. People find that uh, they don't like the customer service sometimes. And 11% is kind of a high number compared to other alternative lenders in this space. So you'll want to dig into the content of those reviews because some of the complaints appear to be non-trivial. Now, that being said, I should point out that Blue Line's line of credit loan is one of the lowest interest rates out there offered by an alternative lender. But as mentioned before, you'll have to be prepared to pay it back quickly. 
You can check out the full details of this review at finimpact.com.